All right, it looks like we're about ready to start. Hello, ghouls, ghosts, and themlins. This is Cyberbaddy, and welcome to our editing and chill live stream. Today, we're going to be editing some clips from the forest. These are a, a couple of streams that we've done in the past weeks, and these are just some notable clips that we took from those streams, and we're just going to make them into uh, funny TikToks or memes that I will be posting to my TikTok in about a week to two weeks from now. Okay. So this is the clip, the first clip that we're working with right now. Let's see what it looks like unedited. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Okay, so first notable thing that we see here is that the video actually lags here. And I don't like that, so we're going to cut this clip up. We're going to splice it, remove the audio from the video, because I do want to keep the audio, but I want to replace the video with something that's not lagging like that. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Let's find where that lag begins, and we're going to start cutting. Porch, can I help you? So right about here. So we're just going to press C on the keyboard to get the cut tool. Let's go ahead and make our first cut here. No solicitor. Now we don't actually need this sound here. No, which is me cutting. I think this plant that was right in front of me. Of course, we can't tell that that's what's happening because the audio is still playing while the video is lagged and paused. No solicitors, especially at this hour. Okay, so that starts about here. We jump from this position to here. So what we're going to do is actually cut this whole piece right here in the middle. We're just going to take that off. Select the empty portion right here. We're going to right hand click and ripple delete. All that does is move this clip down so that it's flush with the previous clip. No solicitors, especially at this hour. Okay, so now we, we're left with just this little bit right here of lag, which makes this a lot easier for me to, to um, cut this up. We're just going to make another another cut right here. For, for this middle piece, we're going to right select it and click unlink. That removes the audio from the video. Now we can get rid of that video clip since we don't want that one. And we're going to push this one we first have to unlink both. Push this one down, and maybe we can pull it out. And hopefully this part of the clip isn't um, lag, which it doesn't look like it is. No solicitors, especially at this hour. No solicitors. No solicitors, especially at this hour. Okay, so because I'm also stabbing at the guy with the spear, it does make the audio look off when we do it this way. So we're probably going to have to rethink this a little bit. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors.
Okay. I'm wondering, let's unlink this front piece here and maybe extend this clip. Torch, can I help you? So when I stab that plant there, that's at the end. We could also cut that out. That doesn't need to be there. Porch, can I help you? So that happens right at the end of can I help you? Which is right about there. We can just cut this piece out. So what I want to do, since we need a clip with me not stabbing... Let's cut this little piece off. We're going to move this down. And then from there, let's try... I'm wondering if we can keep this part right here. I'm just standing on my porch. Can I Since there's a significant amount of time where I'm just standing still... I also want to cut this part of the audio off, uh, the video rather, because it shows me stabbing the leaf, even though we don't have the audio for it anymore, so it does not need to be present. I'm kind of wondering if we could take this... Let's move this back. I want to try reducing the speed on this. Maybe let's try 75. Look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help? I'm going to ripple delete these down. Standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors. Just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors. Okay. So what I'm seeing now is that it jumps straight from this. No solicitor. Can I help Can you? Can I help you? No solicitor. To straight into no solicitors. We need a little bit of a space there. So I just clicked uh, Control Z or Command Z on a Mac to undo. I would like to keep this space here. What we can do, maybe let's take this part of the clip where it just seems to be dead audio. And pop it right in there. Let's see what that looks like. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Okay, so that does look a little bit better. We have a little bit, well, sounds a little better. We have a little bit of space in between the two words. You? No solicit. Now we got to figure out how to cover this part, this part right here. Let's see if we can actually, oops, wrong one. Let's see if we can actually reduce the speed a little bit more. I don't want it to be too much that it's obvious that it's slowed, but enough that it gives us a little bit of a cushion. I just standing on my porch. Look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? Let's bring this one back down. My porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Okay, so we also have this whole end bit here that we don't need. Especially at this hour. Solicitors, especially at this hour. We don't need this last bit of me just cutting at him with the spear, so we can just cut this straight off. Now, the idea of this is to try to reduce. Oh, just letting you know, I can't really. You can't hear the music? Okay, hold on. How's that?
Is it too low or is it too loud? Or is it just right? I have it set at 50% um, audio right now. Yeah, if turn it up a little bit more, I can pop it up to 60. Tell me if that's too much. Okay, we're at 60 right now. Yeah, if any time you, any, any of you folks out there are watching my videos and you can't hear something correctly, absolutely let me know in the comments because, yeah, sometimes technology doesn't work right or I've messed with the settings a little bit and it might not be coming out the way I, I expect it to. But yeah, definitely let me know. I'll, I'll change it if I can, if it's something on my end. Okay, great. It's at it's at sixty percent. I'm just gonna leave it there at sixty percent from now on. Help you. Thank you for letting me letting me know, James. I appreciate it. No. Oh, you figured it was good to just mention? Yeah, absolutely, always good. Um, definitely let, let me know. Sometimes it is it is me. I, I messed something up or I changed the settings. I was trying to figure out if something I was doing or, or maybe. So, yeah. Sorry about that, folks. I'm wondering if we could, right before that bird enters in, at the, the right, the middle right there, we could probably cut right there and slow this clip to try to fill that in a little bit. I'm going to slow that by, let's try 40%. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that guy just standing. Oh, look at that guy just standing on. Yeah, it's like barely noticeable. Oh, look at that. Up until the bird pops oh, in. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors. Okay, so since we slowed this one, we slowed this one to 60. I think we're going to follow that up with slowing this part to also 60. That way it doesn't appear like the birds are just suddenly speeding up right here. And just like that, it gave us enough space. Standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. No solicitors, especially if this. Okay, I actually want to cut this off here. This is still me stabbing at that leaf that I don't want to show up in the in the clip. You? No solicitors. Okay, you know what? We can also speed this one down to 60 to match with the others. Hold on, let's move these guys down and then speed this one, reduce the speed to 60. That should fill it out. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. No solicitors, especially... No solicitors, especially at this hour. Porch, can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour.
Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, rip to the leaf. What I want to do here, because we do have this weird jump from me standing over here to this, is I want to play off of that cut from this to there by... Let's try zooming this in. What we're going to do is zoom it in by like... Let's try 400. We're going to center it. And I think it would be probably even... It would add a, a nice degree, I think, of funniness if we add... Um, this anime zoom effect that I've used before. It's a green screen effect that I've gotten off of YouTube. So we're going to add this. Now, this green screen actually comes with this audio attachment. We don't need the audio. So the same thing that we've done with the other clip, we're going to right select it, unlink, and then just select the audio, delete, and there we go. No more audio. So from here, to get the green now, because we do want to see the clip underneath it, we don't want the green to show up. We're going to go into effects and type in in your search bar key. From there, find your ultra key in video effects keying all the way at the bottom, ultra key. You're going to grab and you're going to grab and drag it over to the anime zoom clip. So from here now, what we do is go to your effects control panel here and scroll down to ultra key. We're going to grab this eyedropper tool and select a part of the green that's the most vibrant. That way it, yeah, it really directs the focus of the keying to that green color. We don't want to select, for example, the white because then it'll look like that. And we don't want that. We want the green out, not the white. Okay, so from there, especially at this hour, Let's go ahead and cut off this extra bit. We don't need the entire effect. We just need it for like a second. Especially at this hour. Especially at this hour. Okay, so actually, we did cut a little short. Let's just grab the edge here and pull it out. So that way it's flush with the clip underneath it. Especially at this hour. No solicitors, especially at this hour. You know, maybe we could... This clip is, as it stands, about four seconds long. We could extend it to be a little bit longer. I'm actually going to pull it out a little bit to include the second strike of the spear that we do to this dude. Let's also pull out the anime zoom effect. To be flush with the clip underneath it again. At this hour. There we go. Especially at this hour. Okay. Throwing down a hard save real quick. And we're going to scroll to the end of our clip here. Press O on your keyboard to put the out effect. So now what that does is it allows you to replay the entire clip from the in to the out. So now all you have to do is hit the return key or the oh, enter look key. Oh, that guy just standing. And it allows you to replay. Now, if you play this and it doesn't loop like it's supposed to, you want to make sure you have this loop playback button active. If you don't see your loop playback button on your toolbar, what you do is go here into your button editor and find your loop playback. Just select it, click OK, and it'll show up in your toolbar. I'm just going to hit cancel here because I already have it on my toolbar. But yeah, once you have it in your toolbar, make sure it's blue to show that it's it's on. So now, from your in to your out, we'll be able to loop as you, as you press play. We're going to hit enter here, and it'll just loop the playback over and over. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Oh, look at that guy just stand. Okay.
trying to see what else we can add to this. Especially at this hour. I'm actually thinking, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I, what I do want to try adding is a directional blur with each of the strikes that I do with the spear. So we've done directional blurs before. I'm going to go ahead and find one from a previous clip and just copy paste. Okay, this, this is what it looks like, the directional blurs. So let's just select that one. Control C or Command C on a Mac to copy. Oh, now if you've if you've moved away on your timeline here to the away from the clip that you're trying to edit, and you do have the in and out selected, let's say I went all the way back here and I have no idea where I am. I want to get back to the clip I'm editing. If you press the space bar, oh look, it'll play your clip. The one that you have within the in and the out so it doesn't matter where you are on the timeline pressing the tool the the space bar will automatically restart the playback to the clip you have within the in and out okay now that we have the adjustment layer selected let's go ahead over here to where we want to put it i'm going to copy it over here that way it doesn't interrupt the anime zoom effect so I'm just going to pop it right on top. Especially... Okay. Especially... I want this directional blur to happen as I'm stabbing him. So we're going to match it up with the sound on the... With the sound waves on the... Um, the audio there. Also, I'm seeing... Because this adjustment layer was set to one of the other clips that was this size. I didn't want to get the green background within the directional blur. So I'm seeing that I have a mask in place on this directional blur here that we don't need. We want this directional blur to fit the entire screen. So from there, what we're going to do, make sure this clip is selected, go into your effect controls panel, scroll down, find your directional blur from here, you can find your mask and see when you select it, it shows you where the field is of the, um, of your directional, of your directional blur. Now to get rid of this, all you have to do is just delete it. So now the entire screen should have your directional blur. Especially if Okay, so now I'm just going to scrub through and find each of the strikes with the spear. I think right here when he gets bloodied, that's when we have our first strike. Okay, so what we're going to do now from here, let's select that adjustment layer. Control C to copy that one without the mask present. And now we're going to scrub through the timeline to find the next strike with the spear. Which is about here. Right there, yeah. So now we can just control V or command V on a Mac to paste in the adjustment layer. And now we're gonna scrub through, find the next one, which is about there. Control V again. Now we don't need it to be sticking out past the out, so we're just going to select the back end and just pull it in to be within the bounding box. Okay, let's go ahead, scrub through this part and make sure that the directional blur aligns with each of the strikes of the spear, especially at this hour. Now what we can do to further limit what plays back, let's say I just wanted to watch this part in particular, just hit I on your keyboard. 
and it'll move your end to right where your play head is at. Or you can alternatively just go up to the the timeline up here until you see this little symbol. Highlight your in or your out, and now you can manually move this to wherever you want it to. Especially at this hour. Especially at this hour. Especially at this hour. Especially at this hour. Especially at this. Okay. Especially at this hour. Especially at. Especially. Especially. Especially at this. Especially at this hour. Especially at this hour. Especially at this hour. Especially at this hour. I'm honestly wondering if we should put another directional blur right here at the cusp of this. But it might be too much. Uh, how to say? Not enough space, not enough time for the directional blur to make any sense there. Especially. Yeah, no, let's leave that one off. Let's just have the three that we currently have. So let's go ahead and play back the entire clip. We're going to move the in all the way to the beginning of the clip. That way we can watch the entire thing and see if we need to make any edits, any changes. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. I think this looks decent. I'm still, uh, I'm still like thinking of ideas what to do right here with this jump. No solicitors, especially at this hour. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. As always, I'm, I am open to ideas, so if anybody in the comments is, like, wondering if we should do this or has a good idea, totally let me know. You think it looks good, James? Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Oh, look at that guy just standing on my porch. Can I help you? No solicitors, especially at this hour. Oh, look at that guy. All right, we can leave this one as it is. Okay. Actually, I'm wondering if anyone would like me to explain how I do the directional blur. I've done the explanation but in a previous stream, but I don't know if there's any newcomers who might want to see how I've done that directional blur in the past. Okay. So, let's say I didn't have that directional blur already set and I wanted to put a new directional blur like right here or something. How would we go about doing that? To do this... We go down here into your project folder. Go down to your new item here. Select it. Adjustment layer. You want it to be on an adjustment layer rather than on your video clip itself. So usually I just leave this the way it is. You want to make sure that the settings are the same as your clip is. So just hit OK. From there... Come on, don't do that. Select your adjustment layer and pop it into your timeline. I'm just going to shorten it here because it's a little too long. So here is your adjustment layer. Now, we're going to go down into our effect controls panel. I'm sorry, your effect panels. 
and we're going to find you go into your search bar directional blur so that'll be here in video effects blur and sharpen directional blur just go ahead and pull that over okay so how do we go from this to this one yeah you know it looks like we've done nothing there's there's no change on your adjustment layer that is because when you select it the blur there's no there's no blur on this there's no blur length there's no direction so we want to actually input that for my directional blurs i did a 30 an angle of 30 which gives it that appearance So, yeah, this is how a directional blur, this is how you do a basic directional blur. Now, for something like music, like let's say you're editing a clip uh, about a DJ playing music in a club, and you want the directional blur to play in in succession with all the, the bass drops and whatnot, it's most effective if you make them thin like this. We're going to zoom in here. Let's select that copy, control C or command Z on the Mac. And what you want to do is go a full length over. Let's say this same length of this clip, we're going to go over one and paste it. So now it looks like this. Now you can, you can change the direction. You can change the length in between each of these base drops, if you will. You can even make them faster if you want. The closer they are, the more fast it appears. You see it like that. Whereas the furthest apart they are, the slower it looks. Which is good for like, you know, a slow beat in the beginning of a song. Oh. Of course, you want to change the size. It changes how long the blur is in effect on your screen. See, like this compared to this. Yeah, that's, this is how you do a directional blur. It is um, fairly easy to do. You can also add a mask. Let's, let's say I, I wanted to have this directional blur here on this layer. I'm going to delete the other ones. But I don't want the green in the background to be affected. See here? This is my clip here, but I don't want the background to change. So what we're going to do is select the clip, go down into your effect controls panel, go to opacity. And from there, actually, no, do it in your directional blur because this will just change the opacity of the entire thing. We want to do it to the directional blur specifically. So let's go ahead and hit the box. You can also do this with the pen. It gives you a little bit more like control over the mask. But for me, because this is just a basic rectangle, I can just do a box and it'll be fine. So you just pull out each of these notes here, these um, pins. You can also hold down shift to do like angled, how to say straight lines on your mask. Sometimes I have this problem. I'm not sure if I'm clicking the wrong thing. Oh, okay. Okay, no, we don't want to get rid of the, the... There we go. So now from there, we just pull these guys out until we get the shape that we want. I'm just going to pop this one in a little bit. Now to make sure that this is a little bit more precise... We can go here in your video right here, select this. We're going to zoom in like 200, 400% and then use the scroll bars to find where each of your points are. And we can just finally move that around. Now this, 
mask right here has a feather on it. We don't actually need the feathers. This is it's just a um a rectangle shape. We don't need any of that slow transition in opacity. So you can change that here in your effect controls panel or alternatively, let's go back to fit. If you press this little nib at the top, if you pull it up, it increases the feathering effect or if you pull it all the way down, it reduces it all the way to zero. So it just lets you two different ways of changing the feather. You can also do it in here. Go into your mask, scroll down to mask feather, and then from there, just manually put in what size you want. So I don't want any feathering happening. So I just hit zero and then enter. So it's a little bit more complicated way of getting the feathering to go away. This I find is the easiest way to do it. But in case you, you know, need a second way of doing that, that's absolutely another option for you. So let's go back down. We're going to find our points and just manually move them until they're in the correct position that we need. Okay, and then from there we hit fit, and that is our mask. This is what it looks like when it's active now, when the directional blur is playing the, on the adjustment layer. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that since we don't need it anymore. I'm also going to remove that adjustment layer. We don't want two adjustment layers confusing things. I'm actually going to rename this to directional blur that way just for organizational sake it tells me exactly what i need to know about this particular adjustment layer okay so we're going to throw down a hard save oh look at that guy just standing on my porch can i help you no solicitors especially at this hour Oh, look. All right, I think this clip is good. Let's go ahead into export. Make sure that the source is in to out. Scale to fit is selected. And from here, we're going to change the name. I guess let's put no solicitors. I don't know how to spell solicitors. Hopefully, hopefully that's um, correct. So we're going to change the preset. Well, actually, this preset is good for me. Make sure that since I'm going to be uploading these to YouTube and TikTok and Facebook and everything, all my social media accounts, I want to make sure that it's 1080p full HD. So I typically select YouTube full HD H264. So from here, let's just press play here so we can see what's highlighted look at that guy just standing on my porch can i help you no solicitors especially at this hour yeah there we go so that's just a quick a quick way of making sure that everything is is set you probably don't have to do that i, I guess i'm just paranoid so i like to make sure that everything is co is correctly selected make sure your location is in the correct folder so for me it's in twitch clips the forest edits and I'm just going to hit export. And this clip should take about all of five seconds to fully export. Once it finishes rendering the audio, that is. <laughs> oh, you don't know how to spell it either? Hey, Siri. Uh huh. How do you spell solic solicitors? Okay, I found this on the web for how do you spell solicit solicitors. Check it out. How do you spell solicitor? Soli oh my god. I. How do you spell solicitors? Solicitors. S O L I 
C I T O R S. Okay. Don't mind me stuttering and making Siri like what? <laughs> She's going like what? What am I spelling? <laughs> What's going on? This never takes this long. What has happened? Are we frozen? Whee! Oh, is that even showing up on, on the um, video? On the, the stream? I have a window open that just says rendering required audio files and this usually doesn't take this long i'm wondering what has happened here i hit cancel real quick let's try that again i don't know what happened there that was weird let's try that again no illicit books now I can say it without stuttering. Great. Now everything else, all the settings should be the same. So I'm just going to hit export. Hmm. I have no idea what has happened. Premiere is saying that it's rendering, but I'm not seeing any movement in the rendering. It's still, it's stuck at 0%. Despite Premiere not being frozen. This is very odd. All right, I can figure this out later. We can export it later. Let's move on to the next clip. So what we're going to do here is right hand select on the timeline up top here, clear the out. So what that does is it removes the out. That way all the clips back here are now all going to be selected. From here, I'm going to scrub over to where the next clip is, find the in, which is right here, and just press I, scroll over to the end. You can also do this with your arrow keys, but it does take a little longer. So I try to get as close as I can with while scrubbing with my mouse and then I use the arrow keys to get right when the clip is about to end. Right there we're going to hit O to put in the out. So now this clip is completely selected. We won't see these clips in the playback. This is what this unedited clip looks like. Oh! That hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Hello, Senor Crispy. There you go. Hello, have you come for the barbecue? Come on. Come join Senor Crispy right here. In the fire you go. Oh! Come on. Come join Senor Crispy right here. In the fire you go. Oh, that hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Okay, so, oops. I'm seeing that we also have a lag right here in the end. Thankfully, it only seems to be all of like a second, maybe less. From here to here. I could probably just leave that one in. It's not that bad. Oh! That hit me in the face! Oh! Okay, what I do want to... <laughs> because I got bopped in the head with my own trap. That hit me in the face! Oh! I kind of want to put like a bonk noise. Let's see if I can grab one off of YouTube real quick. 
I do have a number of boing sounds and like cartoon bumps and stuff, but I don't have a bonk sound. So that might be something we can um, we can get. Okay, for any like headphone users, I warn you now, please lower your volume. I'm going to play a clip and it might be super loud. So again, lower your volume or take your, your earphones out. When we... Okay, I like this one. This one should be fine. So I'm just gonna grab this from YouTube real quick. The first one you think is good? Yeah, I agree. I'm probably just going to cut off the rest. Like, I'll use it probably for a different clip, but for this one, since it's only one bunk, <laughs> I'm just going to cut off the first one and use that. Wow, my Wi-Fi is laggy today. How is the stream appearing, James? Is it, like, is it lagging or anything or um, super jumpy? Not really. All right, we've got our bonk sound. Let's grab it from our downloads folder here. We can just pull that in. Oh, that okay, so let's mute the audio from this clip. That way we can just hear the bonk sound. Yeah, let's go ahead and just cut off the excess here. If you hit C on your keyboard, it brings up the cut tool. Oh, and likewise, if you hit V, it brings you back to the selection tool. So for anyone who's wondering like how I'm switching back and forth between the cut and the um, arrow. Okay, so now that we've now that we've cut off the excess, let's find where that bop happens in the clip. <laughs> so that's about here. I want to put the bonk sound right as I'm getting struck, striked by the, um, struck by the trap. I'm also going to pull that in a little bit more so that way it's more, it's not any like silence ahead. It, it'll straight play the sound effect. <laughs> I like that already. <laughs> it's a little jumpy for you. 
I hope it is just your workplace because if it's by stream, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel really terrible about that. <laughs> I mean, it might be. I think there might be a storm pulling in where I live. Okay. I also want to add that directional blur that we had from the previous clip, so we don't really have to go through all of the um. redoing of the lay of the directional blur and whatnot we can just copy paste what we will probably have to do is put the mask back in place since i did delete it but that's okay we can do that pretty easily yeah okay so now from here make sure your adjustment layer is selected go up into directional blur and i'm just going to pop in a, a square a rectangle if you okay so on my screen right now i don't see the rectangle i've just put in even though the layer is selected now why is that that would be because my playhead is all the way over here where we don't see the layer so this is happening to you, you have it selected, and you're like, what the heck am I doing wrong? It's not something you're doing wrong, you need to scroll your playhead back to the layer you're using. You're trying to do this edit on. So, yeah, there we go. Now, let's select the adjustment layer. Now we can actually see where the mask is and where the directional blur is. So we don't want it to be that tiny little rectangle we want it to extend to the entire screen minus the green in the background so let's go into our effect controls panel scroll down to direction blur and then select your mask if you press up here it'll show you the bounding box for your mask so like before i'm going to grab this and pull it down because we don't need any of the feathering effect to happen so we're just going to go ahead and pull this All the way down get about where you want it to extend to now for for um sake of speed and saving time once we do this mask what i'm going to do is go over here make sure your mask is selected right hand select it and you can actually copy it that way if i put a different adjustment layer for let's say i wanted to do i don't know uh, a black video or something or bars and tone any of those adjustment layers if i wanted to put any of those effects in place but i wanted to have it with the mask that i just made so what i would do is go to that clip scroll down to the effects uh, controls panel find the effect that you want to put the mask on and then right select it and then you're just going to hit paste i don't have it um I haven't copied it just yet, so my paste is grayed out at the moment. But once I move the points on my mask, I'm going to copy it once I'm done. So for now, let's go ahead. Let's make those points more pristine. We're going to zoom in here. Scroll all the way to the left. Go up. And now we can make this point as fine as we want it. Don't forget, you can press and hold shift to move it in a straight line. It's useful for like right angles that you want to do. If you need like a, a precise angle for your mask, whereas doing it like this, you might end up with a jagged line and you don't, if you don't want that to appear, pressing and holding shift ensures that the line will be straight you won't have like a jagged edge okay now we have a good enough spot here this one got moved so we're going to fix that Okay, 
So I think I actually started moving things around without having selected the point. So what that does is it moved all of the points around, the ones that I had just put down. Instead of moving the individual point that I wanted to manipulate. Now that we have the points in the correct position, we can zoom back out. We're going to click this button here, this drop down menu, and just hit fit. Now we can see the entire screen as it appears. That mask is, is as good as it's going to get. So now we can go over to directional blur in your effect controls panel. Go to your mask, right select, and copy it. So now the next time I need a mask to fit this exact box shape, rectangle shape, I can just paste it in without having to do all this, this nonsense. You're eating a very good salad. What kind of salad is it? Salad sounds good right now. I love having avocado, like fresh slices of avocado in, in most of my food, but especially in salads. Okay, so this is what that looks like right now, after all that long-winded expl explanation. <laughs> oh, that hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. <laughs> okay, I think that looks good. A cob salad. Ooh, what? Onion straws. I don't know if I've ever had that. I love onions. I put that in almost anything that I cook. I think red onions are my favorite. I know that they're um, very strong compared to most onions, but I fucking love them. The burn that you feel in your nose when you've eaten them, it's fucking great. Oh! Oh! That hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Hello, Senor Crispy. You wish you had a protein to go with it? Do you usually have like a meat or something in your... Or maybe boiled eggs? I love putting boiled eggs and sesame seeds in a salad. There you go. Hello, have you come for the barbecue? Come on! I'm joining Senor Crispy right here. In the fire. Okay, so what we can do, because I'm actually not really talking for this clip here. All you hear is birds. We don't actually need that lag. We could just cut this out. So again, hit C on your keyboard to grab the cut tool. I want to pull it over to when I light the fire. So that's about here. Okay. Let's cut this whole bit right here off. Hitting V goes back to your arrow key, your arrow tool rather. Now we're going to delete that, right select this empty space and ripple delete. Be right here. In the fire you go. You come for the barbecue? Come on. Come join Senor Crispy right here. Come on. Barbecue, come on. Okay, so we're also going to cut this little bit right here. Up until I start turning to show Senor Crispy. I'm just going to cut this bit out just to save a little bit of time. There you go. We're also going to cut this part off, too. Hello. We can see here how much time that has saved me um, 
splicing this up. It does come with boiled eggs. Oh, that sounds so good. That hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Hello, Senor Crispy. There you go. Hello, have you come for the barbecue? Come on. Come join Senor Crispy right here. In the fire you go. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this down. That way it's flush with the clipper, Crispy. There you go. Hello, have you come for the barbecue? Come on, come join Senor. Hey James, do you like um sunflower seeds in your salads? Or crispy, like salted sun, uh, salted and roasted sunflower seeds? Be right here. In the fire you go. <laughs> oh, that hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Hello, Senor Crispy. There you go. Oh yeah, it's so freaking good. <laughs> Hello, Senor Crispy. Hello, Senor Crispy. There you go. Hello, have you come for the barbecue? Come on. Come join Senor Crispy right here. In the fire you go. Oh! That hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Hello, Senor Crispy. <laughs> okay, Dante just gave me a great idea. He wants me to go find a sombrero. <laughs> Okay, I found one I think would be okay to use. Uh, <laughs> hoping it'll be okay to use. Let's find out. Okay. Let's see if this is actually... This is actually going to, um... Show up the way I want it to. Let's find out. Wow, that's huge. Can we reduce this? That's still freaking huge. <laughs> okay, so this is our sombrero. <laughs> That hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Okay, perfect. So, I don't need that for this moment, but what I want to do, we have a great idea for another clip. I'm going to use that in a later clip. Oh, that hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Hello, Senor Crispy. There you go. You're Crispy. Hello, Senor Crispy. There you go. Hello, Senor Crispy. Actually, maybe we could put it here. Is there supposed to be a different screen up right now? What do you mean by a different screen? Hello, Senor Crispy. Uh, should you be seeing me looking for the number? No, I don't have the, um... I have the window capturing just Premiere Pro, just for like privacy sake. 
Hello, Senor Crispy. I mean, would you like to see me going through on, um, on Chrome and whatnot, searching for the things I need? I kind of thought that that would be confusing to just be checking, um, like changing windows every couple of seconds. Hello, Senor Crispy. Crispy. Hello, Senor Crispy. Hello, Senor Crispy. There you go. Hello, have you come for the barbecue? Come on. Come join Senor Crispy right here. In the fire you go. <laughs> oh. Hello, Senor Crispy. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to take this whole back end off. Oh, you're dumb. Hello, oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Let's take this off. This is what we're going to do. Is that? I'm just going to select this bit where I'm being struck. You can also just drag and select the entire thing. What we're going to do here is control, control C to copy all of that. I'm going to bring that over here to the end. Senor Crispy. There you go. Okay. Crispy. Hello, Senor Crispy. From here, let's go ahead and take this out. And from here, we're going to unlink this. I'm going to take out the audio because we have a better audio we're going to put in once I get it off of YouTube, that is.
¡Arriba! ¡Arriba! from Mexico Sound like Messi We like to This one is the one I'm looking for. <laughs> well, this is making you want chips and salsa. <laughs> Okay, took me a couple seconds or a minute or two, but I got it. Okay, so this is the sound effect that we were looking for. I'm just gonna cut off this beginning bit because we don't want the whole thing. What is happening here? to about there. I'm going to put off this excess. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna take some editing, but what I want to do is make the um, the bonk sound sync up with the uh, beat of the Mexican ma mariachi. <laughs> So we're just going to shorten this as much as we can. I'm going to increase this. The speed of that we want to... Let's do 200%. Okay, I'm going to mute the mariachi music for a min minute. Okay. 
This is gonna be a minute here. <laughs> Man. Let's try that. We increase the speed of the video to 200 as well. Oops. You know what? Actually, we could probably just increase this a little bit further maybe 250 let's see it's a little bit fast isn't it let's also increase the audio gain i'm just gonna add five just a little bit louder okay so i don't Think that that speed is a good fit we're gonna drop it back down to 200 and what I'll do is I'll just go into the effects panel here and audio transitions cross fade exponential fade okay now we're just gonna drag we're gonna select it and drag it over into the audio we want to do this with now that is way too long, so we're going to drop it to be about there. Okay. Now I moved over the audio of the bonk a little bit because it was a little too fast. It was a, it was happening a little bit too soon. Also, the adjustment layer now needs to be reduced. It's a little too long. I also moved over the exponential fade to be at the same ending of the video clip you know this actually might not be even necessary because on the the music the beat that's happening here is happening in quick succession so it might be we might need to just actually cut off this excess all right let's try this i'm gonna pull it to be the same Let's pull this back. All right, that I think works for right now. So now what we're going to do is just select all of the layers that we need, control C, and we're going to pop that in right next to it. So that's what it looks like. It should match up with the mariachi music. Let's go ahead and pop that in. <laughs> I'm going to hit I right here so we can just Listen to this nonsense from this part. So now all we have to do is continue on copy pasting. This clip is going to be garbage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, so for these here that have like a, a little distance in between, I'm just going to pull this back out. And then we can select that exponential fade at the bottom there, and I'm just going to manually push it, pull it out. Alright, I'm going to throw it on a hard save because I don't want to lose any of the garbage I've just done. <laughs> to actually pull this down a little bit because I'm noticing that there is a little bit of a discrepancy between the bonks and the music beats. So let's see if we can just pull that one. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so for this one, this one I'm seeing there was a little bit of a... Let's go ahead and just pull that back in and we're going to move it back a little bit to match up with that bonk a little bit better. Okay, so now we can just fill in the gaps a little bit here. We'll pull these two clips to meet in the middle. I'll pull this one back a little bit and the audio file, pull it back a little bit. Back to copy pasting. <laughs> So let's pull this one out to be a little bit longer. Right about here we want it to end. So let's pull that. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this right now. <laughs> Okay, one more here. And for this one, this is what happens when Xerxes is not here. <laughs> Listen, I have to find a way to put the music of my people in my videos sometimes, okay? <laughs> okay. For that bonk there, we're going to extend it. This is great. <laughs> this one we're going to extend out pretty long. So for that, let's drop that down to 50. Same thing for this guy. 
drop it down to 50. Maybe even pull it out more. Okay, so we're going to move the directional blur to be about here. And extend to about there. Honestly wondering when the next bonk on this... Oh, there we go. So that next beat, the strum of the guitar, happens about here. So we're going to go back to copying and pasting the way it was before. So from here, what I'm going to do is just pull this back in. Same thing over here. Let's pull that back in. Let's extend this out. that's about here-ish. Let me pull in a little bit more. Actually, maybe a little bit more than that about here. And then another one right there. Okay, so for here, let's zoom in a little bit. We're just going to pull these two ends here to meet. And I'm going to pull this one out. Okay. Okay, so we're starting to get that, that discrepancy again. These are starting to start a little bit too late, so what we're going to do is push them in a little bit more. For example, right here. This clip should start there. So let's go ahead. Let's reduce this one. Just pull it in. We'll drag select Oops. Okay. So what you want to do is click and drag. That way it selects all the files that you want, all the um, clips that you want. And then if you want these as well to match up with the audio, press and hold down shift. It allows you to select more, more layers in your timeline. Now, when I push all these guys back, the audio and the video will stay together. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we're at. Same thing over here. We want to pull this one down. I'm actually wondering this, these two here. Let's see if we can actually increase their duration. Let's see, 250. Oops. Pull that in. Okay, so we want to make sure that that directional blur is in the right spot. 
We're going to reduce it just a smidge if it'll let me. It might not. Okay, now let's put in another one of these. This is the 251, so I kind of want to alternate, make these. Let's go ahead and select these, get rid of these. Let's select the ones that we want to emulate. We're going to shift select them. Control C or Command C on a Mac to copy. And then scroll your, your playhead up to where you want it on your timeline. And then Control V or Command V on a Mac to paste it. And we'll just pull these two out. We're about like halfway with the freaking... This one... This one clip is taking so long. <laughs> Alright, let's see what it looks like at the moment. We'll probably need to do some more fine tuning at the end just to get the bonks to line up a little bit more precisely with the strums of the guitar. This one fucking TikTok goes viral and it's just of something so silly. <laughs> the science bonks. <laughs> Okay, this one is a bit of a longer strum on the guitar. So what we can do is take the one we had that was really long, this guy right here. We're just going to copy it. Control C or Command Z on a Mac. C Command C on a Mac, rather. And then we'll scrub the playhead over where we need it. And just Control V or Command V on a Mac to paste. So the next beat, the next strum beat start, starts about right here. Okay. So let's select the old one that we had. This is the 200%, this, uh, the 200 speed one. We'll just control B, paste that fucker in there. Actually, let's first move these guys back a little bit. And now we can press Control V. Okay, so now we're going to grab the 250 speed, which is this one here. Yes, 250 speed. Make sure you're not selecting any of the other layers. We just want the 250. Control C. Command C on a Mac and then scroll over to where you want it. Control V or Command V on a Mac. And now we can just alternate between these two. What I'll do is I'll just select both at the same time. Oops. Select both and then shift select their audios. Copy it and scroll over to where we need them. Paste. Paste again. Okay, we need a couple more. <laughs> okay, this one is one of the longer strums, so we'll get this one again. 
Now it's just a matter of copying and pasting the box to be at the right beat times. Okay, so the next one starts here. We're going to reduce everything. So there. So let's shift select both of these guys. Speed duration. Let's drop let's maybe increase it to 60. No, we need a little bit more. Let's try. Let's try 80. That's nearly perfect. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna have to adjust the adjustment layer here. I want it to start here. And then end about there. So we'll just pull that in. And this one we'll pull in too. Let's decrease that a little bit so it's not such a long. There we go. Okay. And now from here. Actually, I'm realizing the out is cutting off the end bit here. From here, what we can do is just grab all of these right here, the way they are. Shift select, and we're just going to copy and drop those fuckers in there. And we're going to need another long one. Let's grab this guy again. Pop that right there. So now we want this one to be even longer than the one it was, the, the one we copied. So that way it, it fills out this little bit here. So let's go ahead and shift select both of them. Let's increase it to let's say 60. Oh no, the other way around. My mistake. Let's say 40. Wow, 40 is a little bit too far out. Let's try 42. A little too far in now. How about 41? 41 is perfect. Oops. Now we just move the adjustment layer to where we need it to be. Which is about here. And then we'll pull this guy in at the end. Okay, so we'll need to do some fine tuning here to make sure the bunks are in the right spot. But let's see the whole thing as it is right now. I'm going to throw down a save. Control S or Command S on the Mac to save. And now we just hit enter. So I'm finding a good portion of it is on time, but right about here, there was a discrepancy, so I'm going to have to fix that. Right here. Yeah, right there. This guy started just a fraction of a second too early, and that threw off everything out from behind this one. It always is like that, isn't it? Now I have to adjust all of them <laughs> from this point on. Yeah, so what we're going to do here... Let's... Let's... <laughs> I'm going to select all of these guys at the end. Where are we? There we go. 
shift select all our audios that way everything stays in time we're going to pull them out it's okay that they're sticking out past the out right now because i'm going to adjust that what i want to do right now is focus on this clip here to extend it just so actually what we could do first before we do that wait i want everything selected still let's grab all these out I'm going to move it to be in the correct spot. That way, everything is on time. Here we go. Or should be on time. I'm going to have to probably adjust some of these, but that's okay. So, this is how much we have space. We need to push this guy out. So, let's go ahead into duration. Shift select the audio too. Make sure both are at the same time. Let's, let's try 79. Oh, the other way around. Let's try 81. Why are we not extending both? last one has this weird jumping sound as if it's like two box i guess that's supposed to be that, that huh what do you guys what do you all think in the in the audience From here, let's just drop down a hard save real quick. I'm going to pull out the out to match up. Oh, okay. Let's try... I'm seeing that there's the slightest bit of uh, this sticking. You know what? Do I even need to change the speed? Can I just pull this in? And then just pop that right over. we can differentiate these a little bit to break up the monotony what I'm gonna do is shift select all of these and then unselect their adjustment layers by holding down control 
No, is it alt? No. You know what? How about we just select them individually? Oh, come on. Uh, of course, you're going to be a pain in the butt about it. What I'm going to do is select all of these here. Just the videos. I just want to try something. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go after selecting all the videos. Let's go into video effects. Is it adjust? No, it should be in transform. And let's try a horizontal flip. Let's also put that flip over here too. We're going to put the same horizontal flip on these here. You know what, actually? Hmm. I'm wondering... Actually, let's undo all of this. <laughs> I like the idea of horizontally flipping some of them, but I don't want to do it to so many of them. Maybe let's do it to the longer ones only. These these um, these um ones here that have the longer duration. So let's go ahead. Let's pull this out so we can zoom out a little bit. Scrub over. Let's select only the long, the longer ones here, and we're going to pop over that horizontal flip. Let's see what that looks like now. I feel like there's still a discrepancy right here by just the slightest amount. I don't know, is that just me?
All right, I'm going to try moving that out a little bit and see if it's just that I'm pushing it the wrong way. So we'll pull this guy out. Okay. like just the slightest bit of discrepancy at the end there let's try pulling it out just a little bit more this guy out that means we'll probably have to adjust the adjustment layer here yeah let's pull this in and then pull this out <laughs> What do you all think about this? I think for this one we're going to have to um, increase the speed. Let's try 42. No. How about 45? 46. Okay. That works. going to alternate the 250 with 200 on the front part so I realized I didn't do that for these hold on we can't uh, we can't select the adjustment layers okay now we should be able to pop these guys up to 250.
Okay, so what we're gonna do is just pop another one of those 250s right here in the front. Okay. This seems to have changed. Maybe we don't need to do the 250s for the front piece. I don't know. I guess I wanted to keep with the um, repetition of 200 versus 250 every other. But it seems to have changed and increased the discrepancy now here in the beginning. Yeah, it's off by a lot now for all of these. Let's try, let's go back to where it was before we moved. sure what do you all think in the comments curious I'm gonna try something real quick I'm probably not gonna keep it but I'm gonna try something
Hmm. Doing it this way makes a different discrepancy right about here. Maybe we should have kept it the way it was. Yeah, and then there's a big discrepancy right there. Yeah, let's just do that. I kind of figured I wasn't going to keep it, but I just wanted to try it. to the out and make sure that the this is sticking inside rather than out of the out So, this is the entire clip as it is. It's a little bit long at 17 seconds, but what can you expect? <laughs> oh! That hit me in the face! Oh, we don't need the sombrero anymore. <laughs> oh! That hit me in the face! Oh, you're dumb! Hello, Senor Crispy! Hello, Senor Crispy! Oh, that hit me in the face. Okay. So I'm thinking, hmm. Senor Crispy. Hello, Senor Crispy. Hello, Senor Crispy. We're going to reduce the size of that so it's not big. And I'm going to put it on his head. <laughs> Maybe even like a two or something. It's so freaking massive. Oh, Senor Crispy. Hello, Senor Crispy. Okay, so to get this to work, I have to turn on the animation for position and scale. So uh, I'm not even sure that I even want to keep the sombrero on it. Let's just try it. If we don't like it, I'll just take it off. I mean, it, what else can we do? <laughs> so, from here... Excuse me. From here, what we're going to do... Let's make sure we have the correct clip selected. We're going to turn on position and scale animation. So go over into your effect controls panel. Scroll down to motion. And then you just want to toggle these toggle animation buttons make sure that they're blue they're both blue and what this does is it puts a keyframe down on your timeline here we can see it here it 
Okay. So now I'm just going to manually scrub this. And as we go, we're going to move the sombrero. Okay. To make this a little bit more easy to see, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. just going to shift the sombrero over as the clip is moving and as you can see as we're doing all our movements keyframes are automatically being put down because we have the toggle animation selected So now we're just going to keep moving this guy around. We're just going to keep shifting the position, the scale, and the rotation to the spots we like. Oops.
<laughs> okay. Let's see what that looks like now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna put the in right when the sombrero starts and then the out right at the end of that just so I can see the animation. Oh said you're crispy. Oh said you're crispy. Oh said you're crispy. Oh said you're crispy. Oh said you're I'm so mad that that fucking looks good. Crispy. Oh said you're crispy. Oh said you're crispy. I mean forget the perspective. It's going to be off no matter what. But that's the point. I think that's what makes it funny, is it's clearly just a slapped on hat. <laughs> oh, senor. Okay, so I'm seeing a little bit of a, a floating right here at the very beginning. So for that, we're just going to shift that over a smidge, but that's okay. That's easily fixed. Oh, you know what? I just realized I made a big mistake. Crap. Now I got to redo all of this. <laughs> Guess what I did wrong? I did not engage the toggle animation for the rotation. So throughout the whole clip, the hat stays in that same rotation, even though I was shifting it around, changing its rotation as I was putting in the keyframes. Which really stinks. Oh man. Alright, well we can fix that. Let's go ahead, instead of undoing what we've done, I want to keep the position and scale keyframes the way they are. I think they're fine. But what we will do is toggle the rotation. So let's go ahead and make sure that's now selected. And we'll just shift, we'll just scrub the playhead. and change the rotation as we go. Only changing its rotation. Well, I mean, right here, I think that looks a little bit weird. So let's just pull that guy over, even tiny bit scale. Okay. Ooh, that one's a little bit off. Just move that guy around. Yeah, sometimes it does help. Premiere Pro does do automatically do the animation for you based on what it thinks is a good animation path, but sometimes it gets it really wrong. So I like to scrub through the animation, through the keyframes, and just shift as I go. Manually shift things around just to have a little bit more control on how things look. But yeah, you can actually, you can definitely automate this. You don't have to do what I'm doing right now. It would be faster to just automate, but I am a perfectionist. <laughs>
Okay. Kind of Mountain Dew with my salad, and I am vibrating. <laughs> Is it from all the sugar? <laughs> all right, let's see where we're at now. Who said you're crispy? 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 All right, I think that looks good. The hat is good to me. So let's pull our in all the way to the beginning and our out all the way to the end and let's see this fucking monstrosity. <laughs> Alright, threw down a hard save and let's go. Oh! That hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Hello, Senor Crispy. <laughs> That hit me in the face. Oh, you're dumb. Hello, Senor Crispy. <laughs> what do we think here, folks? Are we good with this? <laughs> All right, let's see if I can try to export this one. I have no idea if it'll let me. Senor Crispy. Okay, source into out, scale to fit. Everything is selected. Let's try exporting. Yeah, it's not letting me, it's not doing it for whatever reason. It's stuck on rendering required audio for whatever reason. All right, I'm not sure why that's happening, but I'll figure that out later. So let's move on to the next clip, and I think this will be the last clip for tonight. So what we're going to do is clear the out, scroll over to the next one. Which is this smaller clip. And we'll pull the out right there. Now let's see what the clip looks like unedited. Why does this clip have no audio? Uh oh. There seems to have been 
Oh, you know what? When I poured it in the, the mariachi music, I think it might have messed up the audio that was attached to these these clips here because the second clip behind this one also has lost its audio. And I'm not exactly sure how to... Um, How to get the audio file back once it's been removed. So what I could probably do, I'm not going to do it on, on stream today. But what I could do to return to these clips is I have the main video that these came from. What is this? I don't know what this is. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do to get this guy back to the way it was before. Hmm. All right, I guess what we can do is move on to the next clip after that, which was this one. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know, I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? Are you still up there, bro? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> oh, now she did. Where are you? Come on. Right, so that's that one. Let's see. What are we going to do with this one? Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? Are you still up there, bro? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> I'm gonna add a fucking fart sound. Why not? Oh, now she did. What? Okay, so she jumps down right about here. Let's just pop that part sound right there where she jumps down at. I'm also going to get rid of the excess that we have at the beginning and the end of the noise. Alright, so she jumps down right there. Oh, now she did. Okay. Let's go ahead and reduce the sound. So let's put minus five decibels just to see if that's enough. We might have to lower it a little bit further than that. Yeah, let's lower it down a little bit more. Maybe another five should do it. Oh, now. Oh, now she did. Where are you? A chainsaw noise? A chainsaw noise where? To me chopping down the tree? Oh, 
Let's see if I can find one of those. I think that's enough. We can just use that end bit there and just get rid of the excess on this. Pull that in. Let's see what we got. So I'm going to mute this top audio for a second. I want to see what this sounds like. Actually, before I play it, let's reduce it by like 10 decibels. That's way too loud. right here we can cut the rest off and use this bit here so let's pull that over to where it needs to go I think it would be even funnier. Let's do a zoom in as well. She's still up there. <laughs> you know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> Let's take this guy out right here. I'm going to pull this one out. Okay, let's cut it, and I want to speed this up. So let's do 200%. Pull it out. Honestly, maybe we can even do it to 300. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I don't want this part here. I just want me chopping the tree. <laughs> Alright, we don't actually need the sound effect of me chopping. So let's go ahead and remove that. And we're going to replace that with the chainsaw noise. <laughs> okay. We're also going to do that zoom in that I was, I was talking about. So let's pop this. Let's say 250. I'm going to cut off that end bit there since it just seems to be me standing there. And we'll pull the chainsaw noise in. 
let's ripple delete to pull over the rest of the, the, the clip. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? Are you still up there, bro? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> oh, now she did. Where are you? Come on. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? Are you still up there, bro? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> oh, did you Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take this bit right here out. Let's ripple delete to pull everything back down. The tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> Oh, now she did. Where are you? Come on. Where are you? Come on. Now she did. Where are you? Come on. Okay. So I kind of want to do the same effect here. Let's go ahead, unlink, remove the audio of me kicking her butt. Let's grab that same chainsaw sound. We're going to pull it over here. Actually, let's use the second part of that clip. That way it's not the same exact sound. Let's pull that out. Okay. We don't want this end bit here, so we're just going to cut that excess off. And this, what we're going to do is increase the speed the same way we did with this one. What speed did we do? We did 300. So let's do the same thing for this one. Let's increase to 300%. And we're also going to do that zoom at 250. Okay. So now we can cut off this excess here. And pull the out back to where it should be. You dead? Where are you? Come on. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know. Okay. So I wanted to end when she dies before I move away. See here, I start turning to the right. And then that takes off the focus to the tree, which I don't want. We want to leave the focus on the cannibal. So let's go ahead and zoom in here so we can see a little bit better when that camera starts shifting, which is about here. And we're just going to cut off this whole excess. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Come on. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> oh, now she did. Where are you? Come on. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could <laughs> chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Back here. You know I could chop the tree. Okay, so for this one... When I'm telling her that I'm going to chop the tree down, let's do a zoom out. Let's drop this to 100. 
Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump? Maybe even do a rotation like that. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump? Hmm. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? Okay. What I want to do... Let's go ahead to right there where that happens. Of me talking. I'm going to pop this back up to 150. And put the rotation back to zero. Right? So from here, I'm going to toggle the animation. This time, remembering to do it for the rotation. Toggle scale, position, and rotation. That way it throws down a keyframe for all three in your timeline. So now we're going to scrub over one. Let's pop that down to 100. And we're going to rotate. Yeah. Okay. So from here, I want it to jump right back to where it was, the correct sizing, right as I'm ending my threat right here. So what we're going to do is right here, drop down a keyframe. You can do that by going to, you see these little buttons that look like empty circles. If you press them in, it drops down manually a keyframe for you. So now we're going to scroll one over and I'm going to place everything back the way it was at 150 scale. Reduce the uh, rotation to zero. And yeah, the position actually didn't change. So we can actually probably untick that. We didn't change the position, which is fine. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the present. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> well, now she did. Where are you? Come on. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to... All right, let me throw down a hard save to another tree. What do you all think about the, the edits? Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> oh, now she did. Where are you? Come on. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> oh, now she did. Where are you? Come on. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Come back here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to... What do we think of the zoom out here and, and the angle shift? Here. You know I could chop the tree down that you're on, right? You have to come down sometime. Oh, did you jump to another tree? You know what? Let's find out if she's still up there. <laughs> well, now she did. Where are you? Come on. Where are you going? Hey. <laughs> I think the end bit of me chopping at her with the same chainsaw noise, I think that's my favorite part of this clip. 
<laughs> all right so we're gonna save it here and i think that's gonna do it for us today folks i'm gonna clear the out so we actually have excluding these two clips that that got messed up in the process of uh importing that the mariachi music we still have one two three four five six seven eight nine more clips to go this here is the into the depths into the depths um live stream i did back in may may yeah so i'm still actually going through scrubbing through and finding more clips to use for my TikTok. But at the, as it presently stands, we still have nine more current clips, excluding these two, of course, that got damaged. I might not be able to use them. I could probably find them in their original streams, but that I don't know if I want to go and do that. We have so many clips already, and I do want to start getting onto the Ashenir clips. I took a, a couple of weeks back when Valerian Faye was taking over my channel. So... We might just finish up what we have here and then move on to um, Ashtonir TikTok. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to do it for us today, folks. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing or following the channel. It definitely helps us out. We post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Tuesday are our live stream days. Our gaming live stream days here on Twitch. Thursday are Creative Corner days here also on Twitch, we, where we do some clip editing of all the footage that we captured of the game stream on Tuesday. And then Saturday are Battle Cats days over on YouTube. Now, if you missed today's stream but still want to catch it, you can catch it over on my YouTube channel. It'll premiere next week, Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So definitely check us out there. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, of course. So follow us on all our social medias to stay up to date with all our updates. Yeah. Thanks for watching and stay creepy.